So in today's society, men and women don't really get along. Everybody knows a girl who's like, oh my god, Becky, guys are just, they're just dicks. Or they're just jerks, Becky, they're jerks. Oh my god, give me another shot, give me another shot. And if you're a sister, you might hear something like this. See, girl, what I tell you, I tell you wasn't no good for you. Kiki, I told you niggas ain't shit shoe. You. you was on my house all day trying to get something, I'm telling you, girl. Make me around, get a white boy, shoe. And ladies, I understand your complaints. Some guys, a lot of them actually, are jerks, okay? That being said, ladies, some of the stuff you say doesn't really help your situation. Here are four things that girls say that kind of make bad guys. Bad boys are more fun. Ladies, when you say stuff like this, you shoot yourself in the foot before the race even starts. I don't know if bad boys are more fun. I've never dated bad boys. Just remember that fun when everything goes bad because these same bad boys who are fun are the same ones who will cheat on you with your best friend in your house on your anniversary which is coincidentally on your birthday by some odd chance. And by saying this, you're creating more bad guys. I will tell you ladies a secret right now. When guys figure out that something works to get a girl, we don't question it, we just do it. Therefore, if you say you like bad boys, we will be a bad boy, okay? And then we'll never like, when you start going out with us, we'll keep being a bad boy. We won't turn back into the good guy. That doesn't happen. If you get a bad boy, He's not going to turn into a good guy when you start liking him. He's just not. Guys are so much more attractive when they're taken. You are just giving me every reason in the world to cheat on you. Or at least, like, hang around your friends a little bit more. Shoot. <laughs> Mess around and give my pinkies. Thank you. But seriously, when you say that guys are more attractive when they're taken, you give a guy ammo. Just think about it. If I know that I have a better chance of getting girls, when I'm with somebody, why would I ever in my life be single? Like, I'm not breaking up with you, and I'm not letting you break up with me. That shit's gonna hurt me, baby. That's the logic that they use. Some guys even just get with girls, no matter how ugly they are, so they look better because they take it. And that's wrong. Nobody should date ugly girls. Like, just not at all. I'm playing. I'm, I'm for real. I'm playing. And I... If you try to say that dudes feel the same way about girls, like, oh, girls are so much cuter when they're taken. Let me tell you something right now. Us as men, we are hardwired to want to f any attractive girl, regardless of whether she is taken or not. And if you think that's more messed up than you only wanting a dude when somebody else has the right to his heart, what the f***? Giving excuses to stay with a dude who has done you wrong. And I don't mean like little stuff like, oh, maybe he flirted with a girl in front of you. Uh, oh, he forgot a certain date or something. No, I mean he cheats on you. Or, oh, dare I say it? He puts his hands on you. And girls create reasons to stay with these dudes. Like, oh my God, all my stuff is over his house. Go get your stuff. Just go get it. Or oh, they say reasons like, I get along with his family so well. You act like other dudes don't have families. Like, you like, like everybody else is just a fucking orphan. This one right here gets me all the time. He just, he always bought me stuff and drove me places. There are other niggas with cars and money. Okay, they got at least one of them. But still, there's other dudes out there. You don't need to make excuses and keep bringing them back. Let me tell you a little story about something that happened to me. When I was little, we lived in the ghetto and we ate uh, syrup sandwiches and drunk sugar water, you know, normal stuff. My mom told me not to go out in the street. She said, if you go out in the street, you might get hit by a car and then you might die and then we'd all be really sad. So don't go out in the street. I said, okay, mommy. But my mom left one day and I decided that I was gonna go across the street to play with my friend a little across the street. His parents let him cross the street and he's the same age as me. I should be able to cross the street. The moment I took a footstep to step in the street, I feel something tugging on my shirt. It's my mama. So then we had a little conversation about the decisions that I chose to make that day. Needless to say, after that, I didn't go back in the street. Not because 
of what could have happened, but what did happen. Ladies, learn from this. If you tell a dude that you are going to break up with him, if he cheats on you, then you stay with him, he's not scared of the what could happen, okay? You have to take action. If they do something wrong, there's consequences for it. But if you keep running back to him, creating reason to go back with a dude who's done you wrong, not only is that hurting you, but they're not gonna become a better person from that at all. This one touches like deep in my heart because I've heard this so many times. It doesn't make sense to me. You are too nice. There are girls out here who have been hurt really bad, been used, they've been lied to, and they are just looking for somebody who's gonna treat them like they deserve and just love them. They're looking for this nice guy. And then you get him and you tell him that he's too nice. You are creating more bad dudes. After you talk to like two, maybe three girls and they tell you you're too nice, guess what you're gonna do? Stop acting so nice. You're gonna start acting like a bad boy. And then when you see that that gets girls, because apparently bad boys are more fun, then you're gonna keep being a bad boy. You're never gonna switch back to being that nice guy. The nice guy finished last, but the bad boy came in first place. Ladies, again, I'm not saying that you're doing anything wrong. I'm not even saying that you're wrong about guys being jerks. I'm just saying maybe you should change your way of thinking a little bit because hearing these things from the same girl saying all guys are jerks doesn't make any sense to me. The only way to change the world around us is to change ourselves. That's the first step. That's all I'm saying. Please comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, like, share, subscribe if you want. And remember, comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if I'm not that good. Let me know if uh, what I could do better. You know, just let me know so I can keep giving you what you want to see. You know? Alright? Peace.